Hey everyone, welcome to Med Smashers. Today I am going to teach you about anal fissure. So what is anal fissure? It is a painful longitudinal tear or non-specific ulcer at lower third of the anal canal below the dented line. Here you can see the dented line which divide upper two third and lower one third of the anal canal. It is also called pectinate line. It is common in young adults but can affect any age. Both men and women are affected equally. Here you can see a picture of anal fissure. Here you can see the tear types. There are two types of anal fissure. Acute anal fissure and chronic anal fissure. The midline posterior is the most common location. The risk factors. Less intake of dietary fibers, spinach and vegetables. Less intake of water, constipation, more intake of fast food, poor anal hygiene and pregnant women. There are some causes. Trauma caused by strained evacuation of a hard stool, repeated passage of diarrhea, pressure of a hard fecal mass, vaginal delivery. Here anterior anal fissure is common. STD, sexually transmitted disease like syphilis. Following hemorrhoidectomy, inflammatory bowel disease like ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, and tuberculosis. The symptoms pain on defecation, which is agonizing cutting type, burning pain persists for hours after defecation, visible crack in the skin around the anus, and bright red bleeding. Also, there will be mucus discharge and constipation. The signs. In case of acute case, acute onset, no sentinel skin tags, heals spontaneously but recur after some period. Here you can see the skin tag. In case of chronic case, tightly closed puckered anus, which is hypertrophied and papilla internally, sentinel skin tag externally, and itching from sentinel tag is present. You have to remember that. Diary is contraindicated in case of anal fissure. Now the complication. Failure to heal, recurrence, tear that extend to surrounding muscles. Investigation. Biopsy is a confirmatory diagnosis done under anesthesia and also culture. Treatment. There is conservative treatment and there is also operative measures. For conservative treatment, Fiber rich diet like vegetables, fruits, spinach, brown rice, adequate water intake, stool softeners, bulking forming agents, psyllium husk, bran, warm bath which is called seeds bath and topical local anesthetic agents. Warm bath means the patient has to sit in a warm water of bowl. Then chemical sphincterotomy. By topical nitroglycerin, 0.2%, it helps to increase blood flow to the fissure and promote healing and relax the anal sphincter. Then diltiazem and Botox, botulinum toxin type A injection. Operative measures. Lateral anal sphincterotomy in case of acute Cutting a small portion of the anal sphincter muscle to reduce spasm, pain and promote healing. Here you can see a picture of cutting the portion of anal sphincter muscle. Then anal advancement flap, dorsal fissurectomy and sphincterotomy in case of chronic. For chronic fissure, surgery is much more effective than any medical treatment. Surgery has a small risk of causing incontinence. So this is all about anal fissure. I hope you have liked this lecture and like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell button for notifications. Thank you everyone. Bye.